all uh, welcome to my channel the cloud box this is the next video inside uh, databricks playlist and uh, in this video we are going to talk about how we can read the json file using PySpark in the databricks so we have uh, two options how to read a single json and how to read a multi json so okay so let's start the video so first i'll go through the data where i have uploaded the data so we'll see the data first so data is under dbfs in the dbfs i have something called file store from the databricks and in the tables we have these many files so this single hyphen 2.json is a single json file and uh, the cloudbox.json is a multi json file so what we'll do we'll simply copy this path from here and uh, we'll store in somewhere like it's easy for us okay so i just storing in one notepad and we'll go to the multi line json in the multi line json also we'll do the same thing we'll copy the path okay fine <clears throat> let's go to the video where we have to read the files okay so i have created a python file that is read underscore json in that uh, we are going to read the file so as you have uh, already aware about like how to read the csv file if you have not watched my previous recording previous video go to that video and uh, get some idea about how to read a csv file uh, and uh, you can also refer to the google or maybe a pyspark official site that how to read a csv file so first what we'll do we'll uh, take a data frame first that is df and in that we'll just going to decide a spark dot read okay after read it's basically that is a spark object if you are using a plain uh, spark then from there you have to create a spark session otherwise in the databricks you do not need to create a spark session directly you can call a spark object and then here you need to decide a format which kind of format it is so it is a json format and then we have something called load and in the load what we need to do we need to give the path okay we need to give the path so we can see this path is coming like this okay got it so first execute this and see whether everything is working fine or not fine our job got successful now see the results whether your data frame how exactly it is looks like <clears throat> you are able to read a single json file in proper format okay fine if you want to cross check whether if i am passing a text here okay if i am passing a text here and if you are adding just so method here whether it's also going to read like the same or it's going to read in the text format you can see this reading like uh, value and every record is coming in a in in a separate line okay so that's here proof that if you are giving a json format then only it is going to read the file in the json format otherwise it's not fine right now we have a second thing first uh, i'll talk about like uh, the single line json you already are uh, i mean you have idea right how to read the single json file let's come to the multi line json so what is difference between single line a json file and a multi line json file so single line json file will have all data in one bracket okay but the multi line json file having a one data after that the new uh, a bracket will start and i will show you one second let me go to my uh, desktop and will open it with notepad and see this is basically a multi line json okay there is one record and value then separated by comma there is next record then value this uh, okay so this is a multi line if you talk about the single json so this is basically a single json all things are coming in a one okay this is a single line json got it so our second job is how to read a multi line json so already created data frame one so i'll just make it data frame two here i'll just make a spark dot read dot format okay let me try this let me try this the a multi line json with a single line json syntax and whether see what's going wrong okay then only we will be able to recollect like 
why we need to add uh, something for multi line json this is multi line json file i am reading it and just making it dot so okay first let me run it whether we are able to run it or not we are able to run the job but what will happen if you just want to see the results okay i guess this giving address but it should fail let me add a dot so here read dot format we have not defined the format actually so let me add format and then load and then we'll press enter and we'll see invalid syntax okay 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 now it should run you can see right this error is coming the query from the raw json csv file are uh, disallowed it means like it is not allowing you to uh, see the uh, see the results okay the same thing will happen in the display also let me remove this let me remove this so let me run it again you are able to read it but it is going it is not going to uh, help you out when you are hitting a so or a display command okay so what we can do this okay so so we can read those files we have something called dot option present whether in the csv file also you see like we can add so many options like a dot option like in for a schema we can see we can define the separator we can define the uh, delimiter so these many things we can add so here also we need to add dot option in that in dot option we need to add multi line we need to add multi line and this multi line we need to make it true and then we need to load then what's happening okay so what is this multi line so by default this reading json file is not going to enable you the multi line feature okay this multi line all the files of the json is going to read in a single file but if you have a multi line json file then it's only reading the first para and then for the next it's ignoring so for that reason it's showing that record is uh, corrupted okay so we need to enable this multi line once you enabled it now just so the see the results in the display and see whether you are able to read it or not great right we can see right our output is coming so similarly like if you want to see the results using dot so method also awesome right we are able to see the column name and their corresponding record so in a tabular font so that's it for this video i guess you are able to recollect the things how to read a single json and a multi json file and if you have not subscribed my channel please do so and uh, if you have any doubt please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching bye have a wonderful day